Morning. It's the uh, 1st of June, Tuesday, 1st of June, another month. And uh, just come down to lay them where we've got these spring oats. And uh, last week, beginning of last week, there was water stood. Well, there's still a bit of water stood here now. But there was water stood right down this field and it was real spongy underfoot. But uh, it's, um, it's unbelievably altered, you know, these uh, long days. And uh, I saw. Um, we're gonna cut. I'm gonna come this afternoon and put its nitrogen on. It had and nothing. It hasn't had nothing yet, and uh, it's just starting to suffer. You know, it, it, it should have been done a month ago, but but weather won't let us. So yeah, that's planned today. But I've walked across this field here, and there must be half a dozen breeding pairs of lapwings or plovers, whatever you want to call them, and uh, which is a real satisfying sight really because they're on they're in terribly in decline um so yeah it's uh we've done a bit for nature keep you know with it being like quite, quite bare land at this time of year you know there they are look they're all crowing up there making a right din the were when i first came across it <laughs> We're set at mile an hour because the sensor on the prop shaft's bust, so we just fixed at uh, at ten and a half, uh, ten and a half k. Sorry. So yeah, it's easy. This is all your border control. So press that, and you're going. We're going round outside, and then when we finish outside, press that again and reset it to middle of field. And uh, yeah, usually if. Um, if it's sensing your speed, if that's broken, which will soon fix it, but we just can't got around to it yet. Um, it's, it, it weighs it as you as it weighs it as it's dropping through the weigh cells, then it, it matches your speed to the product. And it's 100% accurate. I mean, we've never had anything as accurate. It's perfect. In fact, hey, bloody deal look. running about. Yeah, it's very, very accurate. Good spreaders. Some people hate them. I don't know why. I don't know what they've got against the bloody things. Because, you know, some people uh, just think they're rubbish, like Pullman's spreader, someone told me. You think so? I don't. I don't agree with you. We used to have an Amazon. That was an absolute pile of rubbish. But, I don't know. Right. Let me get self-sorted out, because I don't really know what I'm doing. Two settings on these buttons here for your uh, revs. So one setting is headlands because you have to have it slightly uh, less revs. Um, and then when we, uh, and then more revs in middle of the field. And then I'll just go down a gear and it gives you 10.4 kilometres an hour on that. So yeah, pick up mastered it already. Very simple.
it's like a racetrack. Come down to see Ollie cutting grass. Bloody hell, there's grass forevermore. Three weeks ago, after that real dry spell, there was next to nout. Now, there's a right swath behind this mower. Plan is, there's a... Uh, I don't know, odd shower it next day to, and then it's going to settle down again at the up. And uh, plan is to sort of get this for a hay for a couple of customers of ours. We ain't got that many hay customers now that uh, hay's really fallen out of fashion. I mean, yes, you ask people, ask people uh, make it, but uh, you use it, but your uh, your cattle and your sheep men don't them off. I mean. In our air day, we did 12 wagons and drags at this time of year out at field. That's amazing, isn't it? That's a lot of graph. Now, we didn't even get an order last year for a wagon and drag. Um, a fella tech uh, took some for uh, for horse people coming over winter. Um, we used to do a hell of a lot of little bales, but we ended up, well, we ain't got, even got a little bale now, we've got rid of it. But uh, yeah, plan is. Eston bale of these and then uh, straight on a wagon and away like uh, to a fella who sells them in winter for uh, for horse people so the cow man's having a bit of bother with his mower I don't know what but our mower's about past its best it's a mower conditioner without a conditioner the conditioner broke so we took it off in a panic to cut and we don't, don't think the conditioner did absolutely nothing apart from use extra power because it's uh, extra power to drive it i mean the conditioners on it have like plastic flails and it wasn't doing now it was only crimping out all so we've done away with it and uh, i think it's about time we got a new one a bit bit of grass we grow nowadays we've plowed our half our grasses out i mean the bit we use uh, we do nowadays is hardly worth a new mower might as well get someone in or or, uh, or keep persevering when this hard last.
you Thursday. Just uh, getting a cheeky tank full in before it gets windy, I think, uh, of, um, of this two, T2 fungicide. T2 fungicide is your main fungicide, it's your most expensive one. And it's the main one what has to be at the optimum time to keep your, uh, to your, your wheat clean. You see, well, flag leaf stage, it's when that flag leaf's fully emerged, you need to uh, hit it with a real good quality uh, fungicide to keep it clean. Keep it clean as in from disease such as septoria, fusarium, rust, and, uh, and you know, and it uh, keeps it keeps it healthy right up to harvest. You might need a little bit of a touch of ear wash. Some people do, some people don't bother. <coughs> Excuse me. Yeah, it's, uh, it's only half five, and uh, just a fact, there's been no dew whatsoever. It was, I did a tank full yesterday, that's all I could manage. The uh, uh, the wind was, well, it just got stronger and stronger at my bedtime, it was blowing a bloody gale. It, anyway, I didn't think there'd be a lot of dew. There's no dew whatsoever, so I've cut get uh, a tank full in before uh, even, you know, it's not as windy today, but a lot duller, so it'll be a good spraying day. When, when spraying, you when you're in perfect conditions, when it's still, there is a there is a little bit of breeze, but nothing. In fact, I think a little bit of breeze is uh, beneficial because it sort of blows it through, through, through the canopy. But you can run your booms a little bit higher and not be worried about it blowing away and drifting. <coughs> And I think it's quite nice when you sort of turn around and you look down all the way and you can see the glaze of where you've nearly spray painted it, you know. It looks like you're doing your job right. It's a bloody glorious morning though. There's bloody all sorts out. There's deer, rabbits. There's more rabbits on this spot than we've had. I know a lot of people have played down with rabbits, but we got mixy bad about, I'd say, a year ago, but they never really recovered. Uh, and they are making a little bit of a comeback. You see them on fast tracks and a little bit of nibbling here and there. Now, like we used to, we used to have bloody acres damaged. But mixes seem to clean them out. Yeah, it's uh, a lovely morning to be out and about. Well, a good morning so far. It's only 8 o'clock. I've done uh, 30 acre already. So it's perfect, the, the leaf's dry, it's quite still, it's going on nice. First thing, I set off at oh, about six, peaceful, no hardly anybody on the road, it looked like eight o'clock, just come down the main road, but a wanker sign and a birdie sign, so I don't know what the mentality of people is, I didn't do no wrong. Two lads in a van, getting in wanker signs, because holding a few truck cars up behind. And a fella thought I pulled out on him when she was bloody quarter of a mile back, so I don't know what his problem was, but we're sort of, sort of heroes in winter when it if there's any snow and it's, we're towing people about and and then uh, it's the summertime and some forget don't they? Just finished for day we've sprayed about 200 acre of uh, wheat T2s and uh, it's gone really well. Um Right timing, I think. Ears start, ears starting to emerge though. Look, so some would say it's maybe a day or two uh, too late. But I mean, there's no disease on there, so you'd say it job's right. But uh, this is a few fields we've got a place called Wilberforce, and uh, it was real good land. In fact, them two fields are really good land. Productive sand it is. And this field we rented for uh, to a company for carrots. And the rent was massive, like it was they paid us hell of a lot, but they strawed it. And they strawed it when I was on holiday and look you've never seen such a mess bringing the straw in or spreading it. There was wheelings up to your bloody up there, up to you there. How would they got through them? I don't know. And they've ruined the land. Absolutely it's never recovered. And plus oh it'd be black grass free straw. No black grass in these fields. And they want black grass in this field. And uh, oh it's riddled with it now. It's all over the spot. So, you know, the 
the 300 and odd, 350 quid, I think it was, an acre of the paders. One bloody, uh, one worth it in the long run because we've had, we haven't had a good crop in it since. I mean, it's getting better year on year out, but I mean, it's taking some recovery and it's like five years ago. In fact, this corner, we can't grow nothing out with it. We couldn't get, even get in it. We ploughed it and uh, it was just turned to blancmange. And as soon as we got wheels in it, which just sunk, so we abandoned, abandoned it. But, um, but now it's gone really well today. Really pleased. You know, one of them spraying days when you don't run out, you just, Run, well, run out proper, you know, where you, you 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 don't run short at any time. Everything's everything's worked out right. Just a little bit of an experiment in this field. We just put uh, this stuff on the last five acre. We always put like uh, um, foliar feeding stuff, but someone gave us this. It's a bio stimulant. Uh, it's got acids. What's it got in it? Nitrogen, nitrogen, sulfur solution, manganese, magnesium, amino acids, seaweed extract. So, you know, just to try and we've put it on in this field, there's some short tons then, there's about five acre. And uh, I think that's five acres worth. Well, it is five acres worth. So we've banged it in as an experiment to see if it'll pep it up. And I don't know how much it is. Well, we've got it given, so. But we'll see, yeah, biostimulant. Could do with some myself, maybe. Right, if you like these videos, tick on subscribe. And uh, we do sort of one, one or two a week of a mixed farm in uh, East Yorkshire. Sort of uh, run all this gear, as you can see. And, uh, you know, sort of all sorts going on, really. So, anyway, if you... Uh, like as I say, subscribe and uh, you get notifications then of next stuff we do. So, right, I'm off to. Looks like bloody rain, doesn't it? I hope not. Don't even forecast, so. But no, no. Right, I'm going to go get a few jobs done at home and then that's it, mate. Alright, bye for now.